Hello, today we are going to talk about the server on ESP32 and specifically about performing the GET request via REST API to the server. I am using VS Code as an editor in this case and, uh, comp and the building, flashing and monitoring the program via the ESP IDF CMD window. I did a video about the installation of this kind of uh, work in, uh, in the on the channel. The main here have uh, three phases: flash memory initiation, Wi-Fi connection, and server initiation. Each stage, Wi-Fi and server, have two separate stages. The handler. Wi-Fi connection initiation, the server handler, and the server initiation. We will uh, go over it in uh, detail. On the pre in the previous video, we talked about Wi-Fi connection and Wi-Fi connection handler. Just to make a quick uh, reminder, here we are inside the Wi-Fi driver, where where uh, the Wi-Fi connection procedure is explained in great detail. What we have implemented is the Wi-Fi station general scenario where the handler is the switch which uh, uh, print uh, messages according to different uh, Wi-Fi stages example for for example for starting connection disconnection and IP receival this is a hand Wi-Fi handler and the Wi-Fi from the previous video uh, encapsulated inside the function Wi-Fi connection where we have four stages of Wi-Fi connection which are described here and also described in the previous video uh, which are initiation, configuration, uh, starting phase and connecting phase. In this video we are going to talk mostly about the server initiation. S server initiation explained inside HTTP server. Um, here we have a, an example which explains how to build a handler. The handler for the HTTP request will have a response message will send this message um, to, 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 to the, to the requ requirer and the response message uh, have the message itself which is defined here URI response and also the length of this response message you can see here the, the example of the implementation now the server initiation which is explained here uh, have HTTP configuration for the ser uh, we, we'll, we will use the default configuration we will give the null for the handler and most importantly we will start the server I removed all the necessary uh, checks, uh, ifs and uh, connection just in sake of simplicity just to make the general idea how to make the simplest connection with the minimum required number of, co of uh, uh, lines. The, the main thing is with using HTTP start which is explained here and this is starting our server. For get command we are using here you have a get and post commands we are using this structure which defines the URI of our server on ESP32 the method which is the get method and get handler this handler which was defined here uh, after it we will register those data on the server 
Let's run and see how it will work. After compilation, the server will give us the server IP. This will be the IP, the IP of ESP32. We will take this IP and try to perform a GET request via an explorer. For example, you see the, the handler gives me the STAP. I will take it. We'll open the window and let's call this IP. So we're going to from from our browser to the ESP32 folder, and we got the response. This is the response that we wanted. Thank you.